Hey everyone, it's Jim Classic again, and I'm going to do a toy review of two Transformers figures, uh, two of which, which I guess are kind of a little difficult to find these days. They are Beast Wars Metals Jaguar, or Ravage in America as we know him, and BotCon 2001 Trans Metal Tigatron. And these are both retools of Trans Metal Cheetor from Beast Wars. And they're pretty much repaints of each other. And, you know, I really like these toys. And there's another reason. Uh, well, the problem is I failed as a toy collector a few months ago. Now, I still have a, I still had a lot of my Transformers stored away in cardboard boxes in my basement. And, well, I'm transitioning them into plastic containers to keep them safe, but there was a cardboard box in the corner of my storage room, which I thought was empty. It was not empty. When I go to remove the box to throw it out, it was waterlogged, and it kind of just fell apart as I picked up the box. And inside the box were smaller boxes. Boxes that were associated with the action figure in question. So my Beast Wars Metals Ravage and my BotCon 2001 Tigatron box were pretty much both destroyed and waterlogged and moldy and disgusting. Uh, yeah. Uh, saving grace is uh, the back of Tigatron's box is still good, so I'm just going to cut that out and keep the bio and keep whatever artwork is available. But uh, as luck were to have it, Ravage and Tigatron were not in the box, so they were not damaged by this little event. And their instruction manuals and their stickers and stuff and everything that they came with pretty much survived, much to my surprise. So it's just the boxes themselves which are ruined. And like I said, it's it, for me, it's the toy is more important, but for, for, for Tigatron and Ravage, you know, they're, they're kind of rare, I guess you could say, and, you know, I wanted to preserve those boxes, but whatever, at the end of the day, they're just cardboard, and they're ruined, and there's nothing I can do about it now, but the only thing that really does sting for me is, for Tigatron, I was actually at that convention, I was at BotCon 2001, and he was my first exclusive, so, you know, Thank God the comic book is still in good shape. So, without further ado, we will be going... Who's we? Without further ado, let's get started with the review. And I don't know who let's is. Like, it's just me. Let me get started with the review. So, before we get started, here is everything associated with Ravage and Tigatron and BotCon of that time. So... You know, just bef before I dismantle these boxes, <laughs> this is this is them all together because this is the last time they will be all together. <laughs> and as a bit of a close up, as a bit of a close up, really. Sorry, I'll just skip over. So, as a bit of a close up, like here is. Jaguar's box, and you know, I mean, it looks fine from the front and everything. But if you look down there, it's all moldy and gross, and it's just, it's just all waterlogged and damaged. You know, I just destroyed it. So, like this 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 box is just you know completely garbage. I'm gonna keep the little plastic insert just to keep them for storage purposes, and. Yeah, you know, the little stickers, instruction manuals, they all survived, so that's great. And here is Tigatron's box, right here. And, you, well, you can see it right there, obvious. I, I just, I fucked this thing up. 
So, even has a little artwork in there, which is kind of ruined. This this really stings for me because this was one of my pride and joys. You know, I was really happy to have this set, and you know, it's ruined. But the back is okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut. My God, there we go. I'm gonna cut all of this out and just kind of save it. So, you know, it won't be a total loss. I, I at the very least, I will keep the bio because you know I like the bios. So. Okay, let me continue on with the review. And for starters, this is Beast Wars Metal's Jaguar, or Ravage. And what Ravage is, is he is a retool and a repaint of Trans Metal 1 Cheetor. Um, oh my god, I'm, I, I'm so happy I have this figure. Ravage... This toy did not show up in America, and he really should have. Uh, his quick backstory, this is the same Ravage, the Decepticon Saboteur, one of Soundwave's cassette bots, or cons. And this is him in the Beast Wars era. He was rebuilt and reprogrammed as a Predacon. And at the Season 2 finale, this guy shows up. And it was a real game changer in Beast Wars. And I love this figure. So he's basically just a freaking cool Jaguar. Hence the name. Uh, he is black with chrome black. Maybe maybe this is like a dark, dark purple. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little colorblind. So... I am seeing a touch of purple in here, but let's just say he's chrome black, just for the sake of, I don't know, because. So, here we have his Jaguar head, open mouth, look at that, look, look at this bastard. This is a guy is beautiful. You know, the, I like the little, it's like a grayish, it's kind of a grayish streak, not silver, I guess metallic gray, metallic gray. So you got that metallic gray thing with the eyes, going the back of the head with the paws. Got a little red chrome there. You know, most trans metals have that kind of extra chrome paint thing. Um, nothing much down there. A little bit of robot kibble, but nothing fantastic. We have the legs. Nice, you know. Oh, I forget what, I forget what kind of leg this is called. But either way, it's good cat animal legs, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, got these little things here on the side, which is not part of Transmetal Cheetor. We'll get to that during transformation. But um, I'm just to compare. Just to compare real quick. You know what? I'm going to lower this thing. I'm screwing it up. I'm going to lower this thing. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, that's so much easier. There we go. Oh my goodness, so much easier. So, yes. Uh, Beast Wars Metals. Ravage. And this is Cheetor. We will just quickly compare the two. Because that's, you know. So it's pretty much the same bot mode. Same, same beast mode. Except that the head is different. The head is completely different. Because in Beast... In Cheetor's case, the head... The beast head becomes his hands. Uh, in robot mode for Ravage, well, you'll see in a minute. But you know, even this, this is an excellent toy too. Uh, this is this is def, in my opinion, this is one of the better trans metal toys. It was just, it was just a fun, simple, you know, th thing. You know, Cheetor is just as good as Ravage and. Tigatron, which I'll also get to that in just a second, but the, the difference is, is that you know you can find this guy for you can still find this guy for like ten bucks on eBay. You will find this guy for like a hundred bucks on eBay, <laughs> but you know still this is also a good figure. But you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll get back to Chudor in a minute. So yeah, Ravage is great. I I like this mold. It is fun. It is cool and well detailed. It's just. It's beautiful. What can I say? It is beautiful. So, like every other trans metal, 
he also had a vehicle mode where uh, move the arms a little bit. The sides here opened up, opened up. And there's little doodads which also flipped out. Flippity flip, flippity flop. And then you grab fingernail, grab a little peg, and this piece also came out. Sorry, my, my big fat fingers are in the way. There we go. And so, this, yeah, so it's not much, but it's it rocket boosters, like little jet boosters. So he became a flying cat. Like, yeah, whoa, I'll show that in a minute. But yeah, it'd be like, you know, even though that, that was my motorboat impersonation, so I don't know why I did that, but. Uh, the only weird thing about the flight mode is that you know, there's a huge gap right in the middle of uh, Ravage. <laughs> um, but, you know, hey, nothing's perfect. So, yeah, so that's that's Ravage. Oh, yeah, just to sh yeah, show off the sticker one more time, real close. Yeah, Ravage did come with stickers. And he came with um, a, a large Decepticon symbol with the grid. Megatron just laughing maniacally, and he came with four stickers, two Decepticon stickers, and two Predacon stickers, because in the cartoon, you would see on Ravage, he had one of each on him. You know, he was he was currently a Predacon, but he still held on to a lot of the Decepticon, you know, stuff. So, oh yeah, and he did have this cool card. The The toy did come with this card, but it's all, it's old, and it's not... It's just not holding up well. It's one of those um, illusion cards that you look at from different angles that does stuff, but it's not holding up. And then, of course, his little his his Japanese bio right there. So there's that. Uh, all right. So like I said, I'm gonna <sighs> I'm gonna break out Tigatron right now, just as a quick comparison. Show all three of the cats together. Okay. Okay, you can't really see Chigar. <laughs> so that, okay, so there's all three of them together. Yeah, uh, Ravage, Cheetor, Tigatron. And we'll move, we'll, we'll move Cheetor. Let's just look at Tigatron and Ravage real quick. Just it is pretty much even even down to the paint job. It's the same thing. They just redid the paint job for both. And. So yeah, there's that. So, all right, I'm just gonna transform Ravage real quick. Now, transformation for this toy is simple. All right, we're just gonna flip down the the, the rear paws, straighten up the legs. So right there, we have the, the legs and the heel spur right there. All right, and now we have a standing cat, which yeah, you know, there. No, so we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the robot the the beast legs in that move them up beast leg very simple transformation it really is now this entire shoulder blade panel is going to come up see and it's also going to become his back right there so and here we have the robot arms they were kind of visible in robot mobile whatever they flip out right here they flip back right there this entire piece comes down and boom we have the chest the shoulders just kind of clip into place right there. Piece just came off, whatever. And then this whole piece kind of just accordions in like that. Tilt the head down. Put this thing back on his leg. And boom, we have Ravage. And again. I like this figure. Oh my goodness! You see, he won't get up. He's too big to. Uh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my! I gotta stand all the way back here. How do? All right, all right. I need tips from toy reviewers. How the hell do you do this? Because now I'm like, like I am at arm's length right here. I am at arm's length. Like, how do you manipulate these things? Like, I feel like I'm the mummy right now, reaching for his victim. <laughs> All right, I, I need. I need. Obviously, I think I must need advice on how you toy reviewers do this. And why is, why is everything coming out yellow right now on my screen? Like I, I have a feeling I'm not showing a true color here either. Uh, 
was. So something's wrong. <laughs> but anyway. So, yeah, I apologize for the yellow. I don't really know what that's all about, but it's there. Anyway, back to the review. This is Ravage in robot mode, and I really like this robot mode. Um, you know what? I'm going to pause the review for just a second. Wait. Wow. Computer doesn't even, uh... This thing doesn't even white balance properly. Wow, McFly. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't have no explanation. I apologize for the commotion. I'm just, I'm really trying to white balance this thing just a little bit more. And... Alright, well, I might have fixed the problem. <clears throat> Alright, this is take two. <laughs> Alright, so we have... Che uh... Alright, so we have Ravage in robot mode, and he is looking pretty damn good. He, he he stands good. He stands good for a deluxe, usually. Oh, okay, maybe he's not. Not He's not doing it for today. Um, oh, I did miss something in the transformation. These little things on his leg, you take them off, and you put them here. Put one there, and you put one there, and there's a reason for that. And we'll, we will find that out in just a minute. So, you know, here's, here's Ravage. He looks good. Here's a good... And get, we'll try and get a good close up of his head. Look at that! Look at that head. That is a cool head mold. I wish, I wish this guy had shown up in America. Like there was no reason why he couldn't have. Uh, the chest opens up, and inside the chest, you see. If I can get the light correct, you see a little Predacon chip. So that's supposed to be the Predacon chip in his body. If you can kind of see it, Predacon chip. And then those other stickers that I showed you earlier are alternate stickers that you can put that you can put on him. Like so, he can have that Decepticon symbol in his chest, or he can have Megatron laughing maniacally in his chest. Why we do not know that, but. So, now the other little uh, play action feature is, you know, since uh, Ravage had his guns in Beast Wars, he does have it too. See, it's right there, now it's going up the uh, arm. You, you, you kind of put a little pressure on it, and it just kind of flips out. And same thing for this, just kind of flips out. So he's got his two, he's got his two little assassin's guns. So he's ready to, he's ready to kill. Uh, Ravage is ready to kill. In the name of the Tripredicus Council, uh, he does have one feature that uh, he does have one feature that I wish they could have done better. It is the tail. Now, in Transmetal Cheetor's case, the tail comes off and becomes his weapon. It becomes like a whip. Now, for Ravage, if you look carefully here, this does not fit. Oh, wow! That's the first time it ever fit in his hand. But otherwise, it does not fit. It does not fit. I can put it right there, and it just comes out. I think it just held in the place because it's on his... Yeah, so it doesn't fit. It's, it's not meant to fit in this hand. And what would have been nice is... It would have been nice to have gotten a brand new tail just so he could have something that maybe hinges upward or something. So, there is that. Okay, so with a quick bit of movie magic, uh, I'm just going to break out... Uh, I'm going to break out Cheetor right now. Voila! We have Ravage and Transmetal Cheetor. And as you can see here, this is, you know, in comparing the two, the remolding is a little bit more obvious. You know, Cheetor has the organic chest and the different head sculpt and the, the uh, they're not even hands, they're just kind of claw things. But that is the big difference. You know, Ravage has 
Rav, this whole area was just retooled for Ravage. And then, of course, the head sculpt was completely retooled for Ravage. Where the original Cheetor just does not have these doodads, which, you know, it's the same body otherwise, but just a few changes make this into a different toy. And, well, hey, oh, and Ravage just killed Cheetor. Well, you know... You know, if it, if it, if I were to put a bet, if those two were to ever fight in Beast Wars, which they never actually did, I would say Ravage would have won anyway. He probably has the battle experience to prove it. So, let's get Cheetor back on his feet. And, of course, you know, we see Cheetor holding the whip. So he's designed to hold that, you know, where Ravage is not. But, you know... Even though uh, Cheetor definitely stands out when it comes to colors, he's got a lot of nice colors going on. Ravage has this black and gray, and he's he's almost dull by comparison. But I think Ravage still looks good. He looks good for Ravage, you know. He fits in with that character, and I I just I love Ravage. He looks great. So let's move things over a little bit. How about this? We'll get Cheetor out of here. We'll get Ravage. We'll put Ravage right there. Okay? Ravage will just be in the background. Alright? Let's move on to Transmetal Tigatron. Now, obviously, and as I stated earlier, it's a repaint of Ravage. Down to the eye details and the, and the back of the neck. It is the same repaint. Uh, I, I Actually, ironically, it's the same body. And, and I mean that in story context. When Ravage dies in Beast Wars, Tigatron is resurrected for the second time, and he's resurrected in the remains of Ravage. So technically, it's actually the same body. But, you know, I digress. So, again, uh, uh, Tigatron, again, looks fantastic. He looks just as good as Ravage, except... Instead of, you know, black and, and gray, he pops. He pops in white and ice blue and, and other, other shades of blue, and he just pops out. Uh, the, the weird thing is, though, um, now like I said, this is Tigatron's third form. He, 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 there's no tiger. <laughs> I mean, I guess, the, I guess the, the blue is supposed to be like the equivalent of the, the, the black stripes. Because the original Tigatron was clearly a white tiger and with the black stripes and everything. And the original Tigatron looked good. I don't have him with me. He's elsewhere in storage at my parents' house. So I don't have him physically here right now. But, you know, the original Tigatron was good. Tigerhawk, which was his second incarnation, was good. And, uh, th I mean, this is good. I, this is my favorite out of all of them, but there's nothing, there's nothing here that says, I'm a tiger. You know? Nothing here that says tiger. In, in, in Cheetor's case, yeah, in, in beast mode, he has no spots, but at least he has the gold and yellow color of a cheetah. And then in robot mode, he has the spots. But nothing here that really says tiger. If anything... I would I would say he's a white jaguar or a, or a puma, I don't know, some kind of an ice cat, but so yeah, I, I still nice. I mean maybe that counts as the black and white stripe, but that's yeah whatever. Let's uh, move on, shall we? Yes, let's. And voila, we have Tigatron's robot mode and. Again, just like Ravage, that Tigatron looks awesome. Again, really nice head sculpt. Same as the other one. Sorry. Um, you know, the flip-out guns are the same. Uh, he even has the open chest. Except instead of a Predacon symbol, he has uh, a spark. Oh, can you see it? You can't. Can you see it now? Probably not. He has a spark right there. And for his stickers that he came with, because he also came with stickers, we have two Maximal stickers, which I never put on him, two Wrecker symbols, which I never put on him, uh, a Maximal chip, and he has 
if you can't see it, there you can kind of see it, a Vok, a Vok skull coming at you, because um, when this Tigatron was resurrected, he was resurrected by the power of the Vok, and they were aliens in Beast Wars. So, he's, like I said, he, this is his, technically, this is his third body, and his second resurrection, because he's died a couple of times, but, you know, hey, what can I say? He, uh, uh Tigatron is, you know, he's, he's, he's a tough guy. He's not, he's not easy to take down. So, again, just like, um, just like Beast Mode, on Tigatron compared to Ravage, I mean, this guy just pops out. He's, just, I love, I love the blue and the white. It's a nice combination. It works. He's, it's a very ice theme, and I believe his guns are supposed to be ice guns also. Um, we do see a little extra color there, especially around the leg area. There's a darker, more metallic blue, which was not part of the um, the beast mode. Right there on the belt, darker blue. Uh, same thing goes for Ravage. He does have some extra colors, too, around the legs and the belt area, which I neglected to mention. But, you know, these two are awesome figures and and again let's get Cheetor in here to compare all three now another thing as I said about Tigatron not looking like a tiger that translates into his robot mode as well I'm, I'm just not getting the tiger theme I mean look at Cheetor look at the organic components of Cheetor he's got the spots the spots are all there now mind you as a retool they redid all that, but you still see some of the beast mode components down there. You know, the beast fur in between the legs. Wow, actually, that's it. You don't see too much beast mode. I mean, you, you same. You know, it's the same legs. I guess you could argue that Tigatron and Ravage are one hundred percent robot, and there is no beast elements, like no beast uh, DNA on him, like Cheetor. So these two are probably like 100% pure robot. But still, it would have been nice to see some black stripes on him. Or, or blue stripes, maybe. Just dark blue stripes, at least to give him that tiger stripe effect. That's it. That's my only real complaint about Tigatron here. I mean, he just needs some more elements that make him look like a tiger. Otherwise, you know, these are, these are two of my favorites because... They're just so cool. I mean, Beast Wars was one of my favorite series of Transformers. And I think I think these two characters are well represented here. And, well, you know what? I, I guess that's it. I wanted to show them off. And, you know, I, I'm very happy I have them. If you find them on eBay or, or, or the aftermarket, I would pick them up if you can afford it. You know, especially since uh, BotCon has recently ended. It ended a few weeks ago. Like, this is supposed to be, like, the last BotCon convention. It was in Kentucky this year of 2016. And, you know, this this really brings me back because this was my... This two, 2001 was the only BotCon I've ever been to. And I kind of regret not being able to go to any more of them. And I guess it'll never happen now, but uh, I, at least I have them. At least I have Tigatron. I no longer have the box because I screwed up, but at least I still have the figure. And you know, uh, it's 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 a good piece in my collection. And I'm very happy about it. Uh, same thing goes to Ravage. I'm very happy I have them both. So I guess that's it. That's it for now, at least. I'm Jim Classic, and you've been watching Geekin' It.